So talk me through, I mean, we've talked about a few different platforms here, right? Mm -hmm. For those that are kind of really new to the Chinese market, like what do I need to be aware of, right? Both the e-com platforms and the kind of more the social platforms. And I know social and commerce are blended a bit more in China than they are in the U.S. Yeah. Like what should I know about? What are the ones, you know, and even kind of prioritize? What are the most important? What do you focus on? Sure. I'd love to hear about that. Yeah, so I think anyone who's you know listening and thinking about China, the ones that you should know um, and be most fluent in would be Timor Global. So Timor Global is your your cross border channel into Timor, which is Alibaba's largest platform. It's the equivalent of Amazon. Timor Domestic is if your products are registered in China, that is the platform that you can sell your products on. Also, that marketplace is generally a lot bigger. I would call it.、Um, Probably three to four times larger than Timor Global, so obviously the holy grail is to be on both platforms, and you can be.、Um, um, so those are the two major platforms. The second one is Taobao, T A O B A O. So Taobao is a platform that looks and feels and interconnects with Timor. It's also owned by Alibaba, but that platform generally services different tier cities in China. So there's tier one to tier five cities in China. Um, and typically, Taobao services you know tier two to tier five, even though、um, you know t- people in tier one would use it. So all the functions and、um, you know um, different um, you know live streaming channels will all appear on these different channels. So Timor has a live streaming platform. You know you can look up any product and you'll see a live streaming、um, icon which you can click on,、um, which will take you to a live live streaming about that product right there and then. Um, Taobao,、wow. Taobao does the same, and and I think、um, you know I could talk to you about this forever because there's so much to talk about. But I think、yeah. those are the those are the first two platforms, and then Little Red Book I would say is is the third most important for、um, any brand going into the market. So those those three would be the main focus. Very cool, very cool. And what I know you had mentioned that you know that has taken on kind of live streaming specifically has taken on a. Bigger and bigger chunk of the total pie for you guys in terms of revenue, yeah. Right, going from I think you said ten to forty percent. How has that changed now that、um, you know? Obviously, things have, have fully opened back up in China for quite、yeah. a while. Have you seen that shift back? Like, and how has that altered your own kind of marketing and distribution strategies? That that big shift. Yeah. So live streaming is becoming like this ongoing, growing、um, channel that. Is not slowing down.、Um, you know, just to give you an idea,、um, the top two live streamers,、um, Via and Austin Lee, over you know the eleven eleven sales, which is you know the Black Friday sales. Yeah.、Um, Via just herself did one point four billion US dollars over ten days.、Um, <laughs> So, What? <laughs> so yeah, that is a mind-boggling number. In one point. How how many you said in ten days? Ten days. days. So, so I don't know. Hundred, hundred over a hundred million a day. That's yeah, pretty good. I don't know what the commission rates are over in the U.S., but um, that's a that's a lot. <laughs> um, Austin Lee did um north north of eight hundred million. Um, and um, I think this market is getting. Like out of control, how big these live streaming channels can go, and and it plays very much into the culture of how people consume products and consume entertainment.、Um, and you know, there's you know, I've I've spoken to a lot of people, a lot of investors and、um, private equity guys who are looking for what's the U.S. equivalent of that.、Um, and you know, that's an ongoing discussion because I don't think. You know, in the U.S., even though we're you know HSN and QVC are such important TV shopping networks,、um, the Instagram and the younger consumer does not, you know, engage with live streaming the way that the the, the Chinese do, and、um, I think、um, you know there will be challenges for a lot of these new live streaming platforms that are occurring in the U.S. to try and mimic what's happened in China,、um, and so so there's a lot of dollars. Sitting on the sidelines, putting waiting to put money into these platforms, but in the U.S., but I think it's a very different model.、Um, but yeah, for us as as a business, how we think about it is that, you know, we always think from where is our consumer, and then reverse engineer of how we get to that consumer. Because, I think, his, historically, brands sometimes think, oh,、um, you know, I'm a brand, I need to be on, you know, Fifth Avenue or Madison Avenue, and that's where we're going to sit because that's brand positioning. 
However, you know, your consumer could be sitting, you know, in the Midwest, in Chicago, and if you're not servicing that consumer, you're missing out. So we think that whether it's live streaming or Taobao or Tmall or Amazon, wherever we are in the world, we have to be where the customer is. Um, and we have to bring the brand that we're representing in its best light possible to that customer, give that very rich experience. So Super Ordinary has always been, you know, that's how we think, um, rather than trying to tell the consumer, you have to go here to buy your product. Yeah, I mean, you people try to force that. They're like, oh, my, my consumer should be here. And it's like, no, nah, you just got to go where they are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think um, culturally, the point that you make is like, yeah, I think in a lot of ways, because our parents' generation was so big on QVC, HSN, it's made it so that the younger kind of U.S. consumers, like, you know, that's not where I want to be, right? Because that's where my parents were. That's right. And so I think it's made it, like, people keep waiting for this breakout kind of live streaming event to happen in the U.S. like it that's did in right. China. I just don't, yeah. I don't know if it ever is, or at least not, I don't see it happening. 